Okay. Yeah. So as I was saying, um, yesterday we had Jeffina, Divya, and Lubega share on, on their respective topics. Uh, they made the presentations. And today we have um, uh, this Zelitoli. Uh, then we have uh, Abu Bakr. We have uh, Success Enoch and Subhashish um, share. So we'll start with, um, OK, the order is uh, Zelitoli, Enoch, Success, Subhashish, and Abu Bakr. So we'll start with um, we'll start with Zelitoli, and um, yeah. So Zelitoli, you, if you have a presentation, you can uh, try it out. Um, share screen, and then once you're ready, we'll start. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, you are ready. Hope, yes. Yes. I hope you all can see my screen. Yeah, we can see you, hear you. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll start now. Okay. Okay, okay, your time starts now. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, my research topic is on cross cultural evangelism and examination of Naga missionaries, tragedies, and impact in Cambodia. Uh, my study focuses on examining the evangelistic methods, cultural adaptability, and impacts of Naga missionaries in Cambodia. Um, I use this qualitative research where I was able to interview 11 Naga missionaries in Cambodia. Uh, there are around 18, uh, 18 Naga missionaries families and other six missionaries from other mission fields like uh, one Naga missionaries from Texas, USA, uh, and also another uh, Naga missionaries from mainland China, uh, and other from Andaman, Nicobar, and also um, uh, Indo, Bhutan, Bodor, and Gujarat, and also one American missionary working in Pune. The objective of my study is to bridge the knowledge gap of Naga missionaries in Cambodia and derive actionable insights for future uh, cross-cultural evangelism mission. So what is cross-cultural evangelism? Uh, like uh, cross-cultural evangelism involves sharing the Christian gospel across different cultural and religious boundaries, focusing on respectful and meaningful communication that honors the local culture and beliefs. The facet of cross-cultural evangelism are cultural sensitivity, adaptability, relational engagement, contextual theology, and long-term commitment. So a bit about the Naga people. They are indigenous tribes in Northeast India, known for their rich cultural heritage and historical head-handed practices. Um, Christianity was introduced in the 19th century by American and British missionaries. E. W. Clark was um, one of the pioneering missionaries in Cambodia, oh sorry, uh, Nagaland. The conversion to Christianity marked a significant cultural transformation leading to peace among varying tribes and a shift in social norms and values. The impact of on uh, on Christianity brought education, healthcare, social reform, drastically changing the Naga society, fabrics, uh, uniting the diverse uh, traditional group under one communal faith. Uh, you know the Khmer people, uh, the Cambodian locals are called Khmer. Predominantly, uh, predominantly Theravada Buddhism with Buddhist Buddhism deeply intertwined in their cultural identity, social norms, and their way of life, you know. And also Cambodian cultural and religious landscape has been shaped by a history of colonialism by the French conflicts and the Khmer Rouge regime under the leadership of Pol Pot. From 1975 to 1979, uh, he was a dictator. He tried to irrigate all the religious practices. And it seems that 1.5 million to 2 million uh, Khmer people were either killed of uh, famine, uh, you know, and also the people who tried to revolt against their 
uh, regime and it's known as the Cambodian genocide. And after the genocide, it seems around only 200 Christians were in, uh, were in Cambodia. So despite these challenges, Buddhism remained a cornerstone of Cambodian identity with recent decades seen a gradual openness to other religions, including Christianity, influencing areas like education, social work, and community development. So the Naga missionary strategies uh, include, you know, they try to learn uh, Khmer language and to understand the Cambodian culture, to effectively communicate and connect with the local people. They also try to build relationship and trust. As mentioned by Dr. Wati, one of the pioneering missionaries, uh, you know, he faced challenges in building trust because of the past history of genocide. So, but he was able to do in due time in season and able to minister effectively. And also contextualizing the gospel, adapting Christian teachings to feed the cultural context of Cambodia, ensuring that the message is relevant and respectful of local beliefs and practice using prayer books and stories that resonate with the Cambodian experience and spiritual worldwide, as mentioned by one of the Naga missionaries, Mika. And the utilization of technology and uh, media, you know, like, uh, uh, one of the missionaries, Ango, says uh, he used Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, and he do online um, Bible study to reach out to the younger population. And also holistic ministry approach, like the integration of spiritual teachings with practical support, such as healthcare, education, and economic development initiatives. So the challenges they face are cultural and religious resistance, uh, Mr. Kam, one of the new convert, you know, he faced uh, issues and challenges and persecution from his own family and society when he converted to Christianity. And also overcoming language barrier to effectively communicate the Christian message in the Khmer language, they face those issues. And also encounter skepticism and resistance from local community, unfamiliar or, uh, or apprehensive about Christian practice. While medical missions and educational initiatives were beneficial, uh, they sometimes uh, met skepticism or resistance from local authorities or community wary of, you know, uh, foreign and religious influences. Uh, so the impacts of Naga missionaries in Cambodia are spiritual transformation, achieved numerous conversion to Christianity. Uh, uh, missionary Mika said around 200 um, people attend his church in Cambodia, uh, in Phnom Penh, the capital of uh, Cambodia, and also influencing deep, deeply the spiritual landscape and individual lives in Cambodian communities. Launch initiative in education and health care to improve the quality of life and foster social cohesion. Um, the Agape Home Run by uh, Missionary Marinla, you know, provides shelter, education, and family-like care to over 100 orphans, significantly altering their life in a better way. And also cultural integration, you know, like cultural integration of Christian celebration with Cambodian custom, enhancing intercultural respect and understanding. They are also uh, Christian-led community development programs in Ratanagari province, one of the poorest and one of the remote places in uh, Cambodia. You know, uh, one of the missionary really let's say they uh, uh, try to improve local infrastructure, including schools, roads, enhancing daily life and community cohesion, and also. Um, by training local leaders and establishing self-sufficient church, uh, churches, ensuring con a continuation of their mission work, as mentioned by Dr. Wati, the pioneering missionaries to Cambodia, and the growth of Christian community in Cambodia. Uh, comparative analysis, I try to study the uh, missionary works of uh, Naga missionaries and other missionaries. So uh, evangelism method, our Naga missionaries uh, through personal interaction and community services, gradually introduced Christianity, uh, which contrasts with direct preaching across seen in the mission field of Indo Bhutan border. And also in Cambodia, Naga missionaries learned the Khmer language, the local language, and custom for deep uh, integration, similar to missionaries uh, in Gujarat, uh, missionary uh, Mangesh, who adopted the local Hindu uh, context. 
And also uh, the social work of Naga missionaries in education and healthcare in Cambodia had a lasting impact on community well-being similar to the comprehensive community services provided by missionaries in Pune, uh, the American missionaries in Pune, India. So lesson for aspiring missionaries, you know, uh, you need to have a deeper cultural immersion, understanding and respecting the host community culture is very crucial and important. Adaptive evangelistic strategies, you know, like tailor evangelistic methods to fit the local context, combining preaching with community service and empowerment of local leadership. Um, one more minute. And local leaders to ensure the sustainability of mission efforts great programs to foster long-term community development in healthcare education in sectors, leverage technology to enhance evangel uh, evangelistic and educational efforts, engage in interfaith dialogue and respect, networking and collaboration is very important, regular assessment and feedbacks, and also holistic ministry approach. Um, last but not the least, crisis management and release, uh, resilience training as mentioned by Dr. Wati, he used to train new uh, upcoming uh, missionaries in this area. So that's my presentation. Thank you all. Thank you, Zelitoli. Um, thank you so much for that, for sharing that. Um, so I just have a couple of questions. One is, um, why did you choose this topic? H how did you choose this topic? Okay. Like, um, Mm, I got an opportunity to be a short-term missionary in Cambodia from uh, 2018 to 2022. And at the time, I was working in one of the ministries in Cambodia, and I just shared my heart and my desire to my uh, um, senior pastor there. And he was so encouraged, and he is the one connecting me to the other Naga missionaries in Cambodia. And there I work in the mission field with one of the uh, Cambodian uh, missionaries, uh, Ango and Asui, they were my mentors. They are the one guiding me and they used to do dorm ministry. So uh, like um, they live uh, like in Phnom Penh city, the capital city of Cambodia. So people from other province, less privileged uh, 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 students who can't afford uh, lodging, food and all, you know, they used to pr provide free lodging stay right. the, uh, yeah, to the, you know. I get it. So, so, so what you're saying is that you had a personal experience yeah. there and so this was close to your heart and that's how yes, you did yes, it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, one other question is now you, you mentioned that, um, you know, to immerse uh, in one of your recommendations, you said that one has to immerse oneself in the local culture. So mm -hmm. in, in what way, can you just be a little more specific, like what aspect of culture did the Naga missionaries, okay. you know, adapt or make it relevant? Oh, what okay. aspect of the culture? Yeah, maybe we can just share one or two. Um, okay. Yeah. Like uh, the Naga missionaries, they out there, you know, like uh, just like you know, we Naga uh, are uh, Christians, but we are from tribal uh, people. We have our own, um, you know, uh, uh, different cultural festivals. And so like Cambodia do have their cultural festival, like water festival. Uh, they used to worship their water god, but they used to involve in the, you know, festivals and all, but in a way uh, they bring uh, Christian, uh, they integrate Christian principles by just fellowshipping, you know, and um, uh, what to say, fellowshipping and just uh, having a good time with the other local people. And in this way, uh, as they integrate, as they have community engagement, so they are able to win the trust of the local Cambodian people. And that's uh, one of the uh, uh, few uh, uh, examples. Yeah. Right, right. Thank you, Zelitoli. Thank you so much. OK, thank okay. you. Okay, so uh, next we have um, Success Enoch. Um, Success, are you in the class? Okay, I don't see Success here. Okay, uh, okay. If Success joins us later, he can present. Uh, otherwise, um, we'll go ahead with uh, Subhashis. Yes, Subhashis. Yeah. 
sorry pa sir so uh, i have some issue in my uh, camera so okay. i have to oh i see okay okay um yeah you can check out your presentation if you have one then yeah can you see my screen yeah it's just coming up yeah it's um, it's there okay um you're ready yes master oh, okay please go ahead uh good morning everyone and thank you master for this opportunity to present uh, my survey as i mentioned here the untold story of christians con contribution to poor and destitute and uh, uh think for a minute if uh, there is no christians in the country or in the world how the city or how the country or how the world look like and uh, when we think about these missionaries they have given their best in uh, the actually education field and this is my school actually where i belong and uh, this is a government school and uh, there was a time actually where when everyone thinks okay that uh, we need a school but there is no land and uh, there was a challenge for everyone actually to send their children to far places but our church uh, has decided to give their land and uh, because of that actually now i think more than 5000 students are studying uh, in these campuses so i'm sharing one story actually of bhola anand actually he is from uh, gajapati district because of this survey i could able to meet uh, more than 30 leaders in different uh, uh, districts and uh, bhola anand actually he is uh, the grandfather of atulanand anand and he is the first actually person from parlak Himuti to uh, become a teacher and uh, his job was just to uh, take care of the cattles and there was sometimes actually Mahajans were there during British time and uh, he was very poor and he was just taking care of the cattles and uh, uh, these missionaries actually when they went to uh, this um, I'm talking about Canadian Baptist missionaries and they went to this Gajapati uh, districts and now actually Paralakamundi uh, divided from Gajapati so they found Bhola Anand and uh, Bhola Anand never thought actually he will go to school but praise God that he not only completed his school, but uh, he became the first person from his school, uh, from his village to become a teacher. And uh, God actually uh, talked to him in a special way that, okay, why not you uh, teach others? So because of him, uh, I, I actually I had a talk with his grandson that because of him, more than hundreds of students, those who are uh, very poor, those were uh, means, uh, not able to afford the books or the stationaries but these persons he helps a lot and uh, he actually helped more than 100 students to graduate from the schools so we believe that christian missionaries not only gave the good education but they, they have given the good students the best student to our, our nation as i said okay i talked to many leaders many uh, in uh, Odisha districts, and uh, I had a talk with uh, Koraput uh, pastors that uh, what is the contributions of Christians in Koraput? Koraput is a place actually where more uh, tribal people are staying. Uh, there was a time uh, hundreds years before there was no water, there's no uh, electricity, no uh, road constructions in uh, Koraput because it's a hilly area, and. Uh, Jacobs Wells Foundation and JELC Chairs, they have done a tremendous work in uh, Koraput. And this person, actually, the person, um, the right side, his name is Hemant Naik, and uh, they are from um, Koraput. And these families, they are unable to take food even for uh, every day. They are not able to take uh, three meals. Uh, and this, actually, Jacobs Wells Foundations, they uh, they they actually explore people those who are unable to uh, have their uh, meal um, uh, good meal every day so they found uh, Hemant Naik and his family and uh, now actually Hemant uh, not only actually uh, he completed his school and not only actually he has uh, his own meal every day but he graduated from Art and Craft College and uh, now he is actually uh, 
teaching i think more than 300 students how actually they can be an influencer they can give their life for the society jlc hostel actually also made a tremendous effort in uh, uh, koraput districts i think more than 3000 students uh, they have uh, accommodated a uh, few years before and because of that uh, from nearby places uh, many not, uh, not only christians but many um, different faiths people they came to um, the good educations not only educations but they their family would able to uh, sustain um, because i am saying about the basic need of food even uh, that uh, water facilities even the electricity facilities from these uh, christians and uh, we know that um, christians up there uh, even the best for my healthcare and when we say healthcare always cmc valor uh, stand tall and uh, but when actually i had a talk with the uh, uh, palanga districts people even uh, korapur jaipur nearby places um, only christians hospitals they have made uh, the best uh, uh, health care to the people uh, one of them is bisam kotak hospital Alamtaput Hospital, uh, Nabram Kubur Hospital, even German. So this hospital actually more than actually 100 years before the missionaries came and still it is giving the best uh, healthcare facilities to the poor and needy. Those people, they are unable to uh, go to very far actually places to get the best uh, healthcare. But these missionaries, uh, though they take very less amount, uh, they have Okay, given the best uh, medical health care to this uh, uh, people because of that uh, now uh, this uh, uh, government actually we, we have a kbk project means koraput balangir and kalahandi these uh, three districts uh, even in odisha uh, they have made a special uh, budget for this uh, project that these three districts they are very far behind uh, other districts uh, in healthcare, in educations in even uh, the um people they are um many people they are behind actually uh, below poverty line so government also as uh the christians missionary they have done their best efforts on it's uh, now uh government is doing the also the best how actually the people below poverty line can come uh forward and have a good life so when i talk to uh many um uh, because of many Christian leaders, at the same time, actually, I had a Google form and I sent to many uh, non Christians people uh, that uh, do you think actually Christians they have given their best effort in health care, in educations, or in uh, any area actually you find? And most of the people, I think 30 people, they responded uh, positively and that yes, we have seen that uh, Christians they have given uh, the best for the society and uh, they feel that okay because of their love because of their uh, passions because of their commitment for a better society uh, we have seen uh, that uh, they have come forward and bless and um, again actually i uh, asked a few christians that uh, uh, that why actually missionary people uh, they have given their lives and uh, come because uh, one of them is gram stain and uh, many, many uh, leaders they said uh, James 1 27 pure religion and undefiled uh, before God and the father is this to visit the fatherless and widows in their application affliction and then uh, Proverbs 19 17 whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord but that actually motivates the missionaries to come and uh, serve and uh, not only they have given their time talent treasures but do you know this uh jeep it's jeep is all about gramstein and his two sons they died in this same jeep in manhur one more minute okay thank you pastor so it's not all about time it's not all about talent it's not all about treasure but it's all about sharing their lives to the betterment uh, of the society so as uh, i wind up here still there is a huge huge gap huge need in our country today and as we believers we uh, we have to come forward and uh, stand in the gap that where there is a need we see 
and um, let we pray that lord you also bless me bless my church and how we can be a blessing as uh, we have seen uh, gramston uh, his life uh, 24 uh, 25 years completed as a death anniversary we celebrated that uh, why not we uh, responded at his church to bless our country and city thank you thank you thank you subhashish um thank you so much for that presentation um i just have a uh what two couple of questions one is um like um like so much has been ha done contributed by the christians especially when it comes to mission hospitals and you know there's been a lot of contribution obviously um but um you know if you see the status of the mission hospitals and the kind of need that is there we see that there is a lot of lot of need you know right? when you compare it to the corporate hospitals and so in your uh, in your research did you see um, any such efforts taken either by the like by the mission organizations or the local hospitals christian um, bodies to to change that because obviously it's a great ministry uh, but as uh, do you think uh, any efforts are being taken to change that and if not what would you recommend to remedy the situation i uh, actually recently i had a talk with few doctors um, there was a time uh, the hospital they were charging very nominal amount 100 rupees but now they are charging 300 rupees because uh, hiring doctors and giving the best uh, medical facilities today um, doctor also demand money so sometimes actually it's challenge for the mission hospitals uh, to balance the both as uh, they have given the suggestions that if the chairs uh, come side by side uh, helping the people those who are uh, leading this uh, type of facilities so uh, when there is uh, people coming up and uh, um, we are unable to stand we are unable to uh, give the best effort because our resources are limited so if the chairs comes definitely um, it can happen right right uh, just one more question is um, you know the obviously the contribution in terms of education healthcare and upliftment of poor in all these places um, that you've mentioned korapot and you know all these uh, um, obviously kandamal also i think um, to some extent but uh, kachapati and all that but um, my uh, question is you know it has been there's so much but also we see uh, side by side the persecution is also there so what is really the you know mindset of the people towards christians or christian missionaries on one hand they've experienced the the kindness generosity um, the goodness of the ministry on the other hand you know they are there is the persecution it's the same people i i, I don't know you know if it's the same who have actually received this the so what is really the mindset of the people have you had any experience in uh, yeah in your research um, yeah actually those people, they have uh, taken the facilities from uh, the hospitals or the schools. If they have encountered uh, any believers or actually pastors, definitely they are not the one actually they are coming forward to persecute. But mm. there are people, those who are behind, and uh, they are giving a different picture to these people that uh, why they are coming because they want to change the religions. Uh, because this is not right. So when the people, they know the truth, definitely they are not actually be, uh, for persecutions. As uh, I mentioned, actually, Graham Stain, uh, Graham, the, the story of Graham Stains that uh, maybe few of, of us that know that uh, the person who arrested uh, Dara Singh, he's an inspector, actually, now he came to Christ. I think uh, he came to my, uh, my wife's church and uh, gave his uh, testimony. That there was a time actually he was thinking that okay christians people they are just uh, forcefully convert people but he when he encountered with the uh, believers with pastors they then he came to know it's not all about forcing it's not all about changing the religion but it's all about life it's all about a relationship with god right thank you thank you Subhashish. Yep. um okay so next we have abu bakar toby loba um yeah, I mean, if you want to put any comments to the 
students who are presenting you can you can do that um but i'm sorry we don't have a uh, you know time for questions from students but you feel free to you know ask them privately as well. so we have yeah yes yeah, success <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning sir. success. Yeah, uh, please, uh, can I do my little presentation? Because I'm a missionary, and the way I am, there's no light there. So I can use a little light on my laptop uh -huh. to do my presentation. Uh, OK. Um, your, 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 what, what, are, what you're saying is there's uh, the battery charge is less on your laptop? Is that what you're saying? Yes, but, yes, but I can quickly do it before it runs down, because the village I, I am there's no light there okay sure so Ab abu Bakr, uh, can we do that we'll ask success to present and after that we'll have you present right okay 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 success go ahead please um thank and, you uh, do you have a presentation powerpoint uh, yes i have uh, okay you could share that to, yes i'm looking for where to okay let me upload my I can share on uh, Windows. Okay. Have you seen it? Yeah, uh, it's coming up. But it's a it's a it's a presenter view. But uh, yeah, we can see it. Uh, and if you're comfortable with this, yeah, you can start. All right. Um, yeah. It's not showing on my this. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry, I cannot see it properly. It's not coming up to. Um, it's not large here. Yes, it did too. Yeah. Did you try it out earlier, presenting it? Uh, no, uh, that is what I had suggested. But um, yeah, you can even try moving the. You're not able to see it on the screen. Yes, I was unable to see it on the screen. So let me do it again. Hmm. Uh, let me entire screen. Okay. I'm sharing it now. Is it coming up? Yes, it's coming oh. up. Yeah. Oh. But I'm finding it difficult to see it on the screen, except I'll just continue this way. Um, so you're not able to see it, you're not able to move the slides? Yes, I was unable to move the slides. Try page down. Can you? Uh, I'm unable to move the slides. Uh, hmm. OK, I, uh, tell you what, success. Um, let uh, let um, Abu Bakr present. Why don't you save this uh, presentation as a PDF? OK, just okay. save as and uh, save as PDF. Then you'll okay. have a PDF file, and you can present okay. the PDF file. OK, so uh, I'll ask um, Abu Bakr to present in the meantime. All right, thank okay? you so much. Yeah, uh, okay. let me see the PDF. Yeah, I hope your laptop battery lasts. Um, I, I, I hope so, you know, yeah. where we are. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank OK, you. Abu Bakr, would you like to go ahead and present, please? Um, okay, Abu Bakr, can you hear me? You can go ahead and present. Okay. Um, okay, what you're presenting is your Gmail account. Uh, your mic is un not muted. I mean, your mic is um, still muted, so I can't hear you. Uh, 
Um, Abu Bakr, your mic is muted, so we can't hear you if you're saying anything. <clears throat> and also, what you're presenting is your Gmail account. I've converted it to the PDF. OK, so that's good. So um, Abu Bakr, can you say something so that we can check your audio? So far, we are, we are not able to hear anything. Can you say something, please? OK, uh, so Abu Bakr, I'm going to come back to you. OK, I'm, I'm just going to ask success to present. There seems to be some problem with your audio. We're not able to hear you. So, um, so I'm just going to ask success to present. Yeah, so success, you go ahead. Um, please present. And then we'll come back to Abu Bakr. Yeah, go ahead, please, success. Uh, please unmute your mic and speak. Have you seen it? Yep. Go ahead, please. But I, 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 I'm not seeing my... Okay. Okay. Yeah, please start. I'm not seeing it. Okay, um, I just want to inform okay. all the students. Okay. Um, you know, this is why I asked everybody to try it out so that you don't try it out for the first time. You know, okay. here. Can you can you see it? Are you able to move the slides? No, 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 no. Okay. I think I need okay. to practice this. Let me come, okay. let me tell you what. Find tell it. you what. Let's stop here. But uh, can I send so, it to someone? Can I send it to so? Can I send it to you? And um, so what what we'll what we'll do is uh, let's stop here, and uh, you prepare yourself. Please go through it, because we hardly have ten minutes now. So you please okay. do it, and let's do it on another day. Um, let's not uh, continue today. And Abu Bakr, please check what is not right. Please learn to do this. That is why I gave you sufficient time, and I said you need to open a Google Meet and try it out. Okay, I also suggested that you convert your PowerPoint to a PDF and uh, try it out. So it's important that you do it and not do it when in class, right? So you need to do that so that you get comfortable presenting it and speaking, etc. Please check it out, try it out. And um, so uh, we will meet next Thursday. Okay, so today only Zelitoli and uh, Subhasis have presented. <clears throat> Next um, Thursday, we have Rebecca. Uh, I'm talking about 11th April. So we have Rebecca, Rosalind, John Paul, and Lyndon presenting. And uh, and the following Thursday, whoever has not presented will present. Okay. And uh, I will also I'll try and see if we can if um, uh, if Abu Bakr and Success can present on Wednesday. Right, which is the 10th of April, uh, I will uh, post it on the stream. Right, 10th of April, we we might have some free slots, so I will I will put it. So please check your stream, and then you can present. Okay, so today we will not uh, we will stop right here, and we will continue uh, next class. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Uh, please do prepare well. How to present and we'll meet in the next class. Right. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.